Hi everyone and welcome to our second instalment of the Roadmap Recordings. Last quarter we showed you what our Roadmap is about and how we go about prioritising work at Pison Hub. Now since our previous recording we have delivered some new features for you. Uh, we now have uh, quality sub samples available including on mobile and sharing a quality assessment is also available to you. Now we have also been working quite hard on some bugs to make sure that our system is reliable and robust for you to use and that has pushed out a couple of the items that we had on last quarter's roadmap so you'll see them in a minute. Our first priority for Q3 is to improve our load passport template facility. The first thing we are doing is adding more options to make sure that there is a comprehensive list of parameters that you can, may want to collect on the load passports. We are also enabling multiple templates for the same crop and delivery destination so that you can have different templates for different crop categories. There will also be a custom defined sizing section which allows you to put in the size brackets that your business or your uh, customers use. And finally, there will be a bag and, or box ID number collection so that if you are loading your load as a number of units, you can collect unique IDs for each unit. Now, the quality work that has been pushed out and that we hope to be working on soon is the time series of measured parameters in the details page to show you how your measured parameters have changed over time and also the tonnages in that detail page brought over from the inventory so that you can see what stock you have available of that quality. And then finally, the data export piece, so enabling a full uh, export of the quality data. The final item in our now column is sharing diaries from mobile. So we've listened to your feedback on this. Uh, we know it's something that we wanted to do. We were going to wait um, but we realise that it is the right time of year to release this. So you, when you are creating diaries from field, those diaries are immediately shareable to whoever you want them to be. And that will be from mobile using the sharing plugin. Now in the next column, we have a couple of items that are to do with store lock functionality. We would like to change how store locks are managed and enable you to manage your inventories by units or boxes as well as by tonnage and also to be able to reopen and close store lots. This will allow you to view closed store lots which is currently not possible. We would also like to improve the tracking of crop into and out of store lots. So currently there is drawdown on a store lot if you use it in a load passport but we want to show this in a better way in the store lot page and also enable lorry loads to be tracked into store lots and to show them in a structured format. Our final item in the next column is to ensure that every page throughout the platform has full and comprehensive exports for all of the data. Now at this point we should hopefully have done that for quality but we want to make sure that that is possible in every page and there will also be URLs for BI tool integration. Moving on to uh, the later section, again, these are a list of potential functionalities that we could work on, things that we believe are will be useful to you, the customer and the user, uh, but they vary in terms of prioritization and how much validation work we have done on them. So the first option there is to pull quality data into the inventories. So this is the more or less the other way around to uh, bringing the tonnages into the details page for quality. That is very useful, but also as a procurement manager, you will want to see your quality data pulled into your inventories so that you have one page where you can view all of your crop across your network and understand the quality and realize how different uh, quality parameters or um, varying proportions of that crop are available depending on the quality data. We also potentially could be working on work building out our contracts piece. So we have a very simple contract management piece at the moment that enables you to log the amounts, uh, who you are dealing with, 
and list email addresses for sharing load passport emails. But we could uh, work on this to improve that, for example, to make contracts two way so that they are signed between the grower and the customer or procurer, and also to have better drawdown uh, between load passports and contracts. So at the moment, there is no drawdown between the load passport and the contract, but it would be useful to see, because we know what contract a load passport uses, to see how much has been sent against that contract and view the remaining amounts uh, somewhere in the platform so you understand the, the fulfillment of that contract. We could also potentially work on uh, breaking down those contracts into weekly or monthly schedules rather than just a whole amount set over a certain time period. We would also like to, on mobile, offer sharing functionality for the quality assessments. So I spoke just now about doing that for monitoring diaries, and we would like to do the same for quality assessments again, so that when those assessments are filled in on the go, they can be shared with the grower or anyone with an email address. Now we have another mobile item here, which is to be able to edit or create fields and crops on the mobile app. That is the new mobile app. Um, we believe there is importance in this uh, for our, some of our users. It is especially uh, important to be able to add these fields and crops whilst out in the field. You have the uh, bonus of being able to use my location to ensure you are in the correct location. And also for many of our users, it prevents them having to go back to a desktop to uh, complete this task. Again, let us know um, if you have any feedback on this because that helps with our validation and our prioritization. Probably something that we would try and get done for next spring um, in terms of seasonality. We then have item here, which is to do with weather, KISS and MET being our internal weather provisioning system. We would like to optimize this and ensure that we are providing reliable weather data. I think we have some investigations to do to make sure that our weather data is completely reliable for you. Managing organisation and team structure refers to how we manage um, organisation structure for very large organisations in Kiss and Hub. Sometimes uh, having everybody under one organisation means that everybody sits, is seeing a lot of data and sometimes that data is not always relevant. So we have a uh, design to bring in grouping which will enable the users to slim down the data that they see and just see that which is relevant to themselves or their part of the organisation. Again, on mobile, we could add uh, quality to our notifications listing. So we currently provide notifications on crop monitoring diaries and we could uh, provide them for quality assessments too. Alternatively, we could be working on store inventory adjustments on mobile. So at the moment, there is not much concept of stores and store lots on the mobile app, only where they are created in off-platform crops. But we could provide pins for stores on the map and we could enable store lot um, adjustments to be made on mobile, whether that's initial tonnage or loads in. Load passports obviously will be taken out from them. There are then other uh, factors like uh, loss rates, and manual adjustments that could be made from mobile. It makes sense to have these on mobile so that when you are visiting store, you can make these adjustments in the context of the store itself. We have also thought about providing um, image-based reporting for diaries and quality assessments. This would allow you to uh, compare images from two or more plots and understand how they vary. We always say that an image is worth a thousand words and so being able to compare images and understand perhaps, for example, the percentage areas of defects you've got on your potatoes across two different plots can be quite powerful. Again, let us know if you think that is something that would be valuable to your business. The final item we have here on the roadmap is satellite imagery on the mobile. So we did provide this on the old mobile app. If you would like to see it on the new mobile app, then please do let us know. Uh, we believe that overlaying the latest NDVI image on the map can be useful. It can help provide more targeted crop monitoring or let you know where in the field you should be focusing on um, when it comes to checking out that crop. It should show up the poor areas and combined with the My Location tracking icon, you can see that you are in that area or approaching that area 
for crop monitoring or scouting. That's it for our Q322 Kissing Hub roadmap update. As always, if you have any questions or feedback, then please do reach out to any one of the team. Thanks for listening. Goodbye.